What is up everyone and welcome back to Plastic Addict. This is episode number 22 and today we're going to be doing a dye that no one has ever done before, at least to my knowledge. Let's get into it. Alright, so me and Trevor were back at the office talking, just chatting it up, and we were thinking of doing the, you know how, I'll put, I'll put up a picture here, the pendulum painting. You know how that works, you have, basically have like, um, a bucket of paint, a cup of paint on a string, and then this moves around and creates a really cool design, and there's a hole in the bottom of this, so the paint comes out slowly. And um, so I really wanted to try that on a disc. So usually they have like a piece of wood or uh, canvas at the bottom and it creates a really, really cool design. And so I wanna see if I can recreate that, but on a disc. And uh, so I've come up with a little design and hopefully this all works out. Basically we're gonna have a disc on the ground and we're going to have one of these containers with the hole in the in the bottom here and this is just the glue bed mixture that I've been using uh, two ounces of acetone mixed with half a teaspoon of uh, the pro chemical dye and I will like I said I'll have a hole in the bottom here and basically this is gonna swing on a pendulum like and create a really cool design hopefully um, on the disc because that hole is gonna be in the bottom of the disc there. I have a feeling we might need to thicken this up because it is a little um, it is a little thin and is very it seems like it's gonna come out fast so I don't know we can we can just kind of judge like do we do we need to thicken it up or not but yeah let's hop right into this I uh, have already created a little setup to do this with and so, uh, yeah, let's see if this works. Hopefully, this works flawlessly. I, I have a intuition here that something's gonna go wrong, and I think we're gonna need to thicken this up, but we're gonna go ahead and try this. Just the ori original glue bed mixture. Hope you guys uh, are ready for an adventure. And uh, to my knowledge, no one has ever done this before. I looked online, I looked on YouTube, looked on Google. I have never seen this done on uh, a disc before, um, let alone a die. So hopefully this goes well. Um, a lot of people have used paint, so this is gonna be the first time that people have used dye to do this. So super excited, let's get over um, to the setup and we'll see how this thing turns out. It's gonna be wild, so uh, we'll see you there. All right, so now we're gonna take this little multi-tool and we're gonna heat it up and we're gonna poke a hole in this. That's probably the easiest way that we found doing it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna send it. We're gonna send it here. So we're just gonna heat this bad boy up. Get it nice and toasty. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. All right. Let's get straight in the middle. Good. Boom. All right, so we now have a hole in our bottle. This is black dye. All right, so we got the disc here. We got a hole in the dye itself. This is black pro chem dye mixed with the acetone mixture, tripod, rope. We're just gonna let this thing swing and uh, hopefully all goes well. So here we go. Ah, okay. We need more, we need more puncture. Oh, there we go. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna make the hole bigger. I mean, I'm getting covered in it. What, the way it's coming out that end is the way you want it to come out the bottom. No, <laughs> this, is, this is quickly becoming a fail. All right, science. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. No more tape. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Take two. Ah. Come on now. Sp 
spill. Come on, you're spilling all over my hand. Oh. They call that splatter art. Okay, here we go. We got a cup here and a new mixture of purple and we're gonna see how it does. <laughs> ah, I think it needs to be thicker. Thicker dye. Oh, no, we're spilling. Oh, well. man. Thicker, I think, thicker, I think we need to mix the dye with lotion and make it a little thicker like paint. All right, so this <laughs> is what we, what we got. Obviously not what we're going for. And we're gonna, we're gonna try something new. Um, yeah, that did not work well. However, I got lotion here, and I think I am just going to. I think it needs to be thickened up. I need. I think it needs to thicken up, and I'm gonna try this felon. This felon is a little bit flatter, and hopefully, what's gonna happen is when I add the lotion and make it a little thicker, it's just gonna want to stay on the disc because um, before the acetone just kind of like dribbled off the disc it was kind of hydrophobic i think that's the word hydrophobic it like the water just like not the water the dye just like sheeted off so i'm gonna try and mix the lotion and the dye and probably a little water as well um try and mix that up so let's get down to business first i'm gonna plug a hole because you know we don't want any spillage right now Just like that. All right. Now I'm just gonna add some lotion here. And just add it to the cup. Sorry, you probably can't see that. Add it like that. It's probably good, because I think we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna need to thin it out. So, that's about two ounces maybe. Next up, we're gonna add some dye. And um, I think I'm just gonna go with this lilac. And we're just going to just put a, uh, let's, let's measure it out. We're gonna put a half a teaspoon of dye. Actually, we'll do like, that'd be like a quarter of a teaspoon. A half, a half of a, half of a teaspoon, so a quarter. Or quarter of a teaspoon in there and then we just need to mix it up and let's see I I'm gonna use this um, mechanical pencil to just mix this up also <clears throat> you're probably thinking like Silas there's an easier way to do this just mask mask it off you know get a like, cricket machine mask it off and you're good to go um, that's too easy and that's not what we're going for that is just too easy i don't i don't want to do that and also you you might be thinking silas um why don't you just do the design on like uh ultimate frisbee and then put the disc into the ultimate frisbee well that's because i think the lines will get squished if we do that way so I have considered other options. Don't worry. All right. I think this is mixed up pretty well. This looks like grape jelly, uh, but it's not. Do not eat. Do not. Do not consume. Um, now we're gonna add a little bit of water to it because that consistency is uh, not thin enough. So. Just gonna add some water and just continue mixing until I think we've got the right consistency. That's the consistency. 
Right. Um, I just really don't know. This looks like paint. Ugh, it's just so hard to tell. All right, we're just going to go with this consistency. Um, we're going to put it on the... We're going to put it, set it, set it back up like we did, and uh, we'll try it, like I said, on the felon. So stay tuned. So here we go. We've got our pail here, and we just need to attach that to... here okay I think that's fine now we're gonna make sure the disc is in the center of this thing and I am gonna put an ultimate frisbee under just so that if it gets too chaotic it'll be okay so I say let's just let's do this let's rip the tape off and We'll see how it goes. Okay, and we're just gonna let it go. Okay. You can see on the cardboard right here, it's kind of doing what we were wanting it to do, but it just doesn't soak up enough. Like, this is our disc. It just doesn't soak up enough. Well, there you have it. Was not the outcome that I was looking for, and uh, I'm sure not the outcome you were looking uh, towards as well. Man, it just, the, the, the lotion and the dye just didn't stick to the disc as well as I would have thought. Man, you win some and you lose some, what can you say? But hey, at least it smells good in here from the lotion. It does smell good in here. Um, man, the, you know, I guess there's a reason why uh, no one has ever done that before. And uh, because it, it didn't work, it didn't work. But if you uh, would like to see any more experiments like this, you know, just leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And, uh, Segwaying into some some wider topics here. We've got some new discs and some new molds from uh, various new manufacturers and older manufacturers as well. So first off, we've got the Divergent Discs. I believe this is the Gollum. Yep, the Gollum. And this thing looks, it, the profile is very Zone-esque. Very Zone-esque vibes, but boom. Take a look at that. <laughs> so, this disc is a lot like um, the Interceptor and the Koi from Elevation discs. This is much more uh, shaped like a zone, though. It feels like an overstable approach disc, um, but it does have the flex of the Elevation discs. Um, I will say one thing that really sparked my interest was that it doesn't flex as much as the Elevation Interceptors and the Elevation Discs do. So I think if, if you're looking for a disc that you want to stick to the ground, like this plastic is mainly used to just stick to the ground. So you, when you throw it, it'll just stick right where it lands and not skip. Um, that's a big reason why people throw these and that's the big seller of these types of discs in, in their in their respective plastics so I am much more open to trying this disc just because it's a little bit more firm it feels more like your traditional disc opposed to the elevation discs where that's a little more bendy and flexible this plastic um, wise feels very grippy much like the elevation uh, plastic as well but like I said this disc a little more firm and when I find when I when I go to the reach back that this disc doesn't flop around so like if I'm reaching back it's not flopping it's not flopping in the air and like catching my hand when I'm pulling through so definitely a uh, new disc on the market and uh, ones that we just got in so I am very much looking forward to throwing this and testing it out but 
Yeah, this is the Divergent Discs Golem. And uh, next up, we've got another new disc to the market, new manufacturer to the market. We've got Clash Discs, and they sent over there, they sent over three discs right here. This is their Berry, and specifically, this is their Steady Plastic. And if I had to describe this plastic, this is this would be like Castaplast K1 mixed with ESP plastic. It's got the look of Castaplast. It's got that sheen of Castaplast, that very clear coat type um, visible look to it, but it doesn't quite have the grip of Castaplast. So if you find that the K1 from Castaplast is too grippy for you, this would be a great alternative because it's not as grippy, but the grip is obviously still there. I can't wait to throw these and um, really give them a clear test, but just based on the plastic, this thing feels really good in the hand. Like I said, not as grippy as Castaplast, um, but not as slippery as an ESP. Almost like a champion plastic, a little bit more grip though than champion plastic. So flash discs, this is their berry. And finally, we have a new manufacturer that we just got here at Foundation, and that is the Lone Star Discs. And uh, a lot of people have been asking about this uh, manufacturer and about this brand, like why don't we have it? Um, well, we do now. <laughs> so right here, this is their, I believe, oh, I have two of the same mold. This is their Tumbleweed. It's a 10.6, negative four, one. I mean, this is like a roller disc. It's got to be. Um, this is in their glow plastic. So this is this is feels a lot like a flexier ESP, more flex. I don't know if you can see that. More flex ESP. Um, this is their Bravo plastic, and this is the glow feels a lot like the Bravo plastic. Um, it's obviously just glows, and. This is just, it feels just like a flexier ESP, maybe a tad more grip, um, but I think that just be, might be because it's brand new. Um, I feel like as this wears in, it'll kind of lose that tackiness, but this feels a lot like Discraft's ESP. It also looks a lot like it as well. And uh, we also have, this is the Lariat, Lariat 95-11, a little more uh, beefy than the negative four one. And this is in their alpha plastic. So this is a lot more like ESP. This reminds me of Discraft's ESP. Pretty much, it, it feels pretty much like the same plastic. The grip, just right, um, like ESP. Feels a lot like the ESP. And uh, yeah, this, it feels good. I don't know how they fly but the molds don't feel bad and the plastics feel pretty good. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. Lone Star Discs uh, is making its way to the foundation website. Hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. You know, I was hoping for a little bit different outcome on the dyeing method we tried out today, but hey, you win some, you lose some. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, and if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and uh, ding that bell. You'll get notified every time we post a new video and podcast. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.